Well, joining me now is Afsal Amin, who's standing as a Conservative candidate in 2015 and has worked with the Foreign Office on counter-terrorism, counter-extremism, and was a former British Army captain. And also Zubaydah Limbada, the co-director of the social enterprise Connect Justice. Now, she previously worked with the West Midlands Police on the PREVENT programme. Good evening to you both. Um, Afsal, maybe start with you. How would this work? So a minister thinks an individual is promoting hate, very annoying, a bit irritating. What happens? We all know the extremism that we see on our television screens. And I think what, what Theresa May wants to do is to turn off that tap of propaganda towards terrorism. Because if people are allowed in our country, I went to Iraq and Afghanistan when the British Army was fighting terrorists. We don't want to come home and find that people that are propagating on behalf of those terrorists are free to do so in our streets. And that's what she wants to see stopped. Right. And the current laws are not enough. Well, clearly they're not enough because we, we see on our streets, on our television screens, only a handful, but very extreme people. And I mean, I think it's disgusting that the British Broadcasting Corporation bring on Anjum Chowdhury and Abu Izzadeen and other extremists right. again and again and ignore the three million Muslims in Britain who live peacefully, the thousands who serve in our armed forces. And this is a great right. part of our site that needs to be properly recognized. And those who are not happy here and want to bring about a sort of extremist or even terrorist approach to how to settle differences, I would advocate go even further than stopping them working here, but prosecute them, those that are guilty, strip them of the nationality and return them to their countries of parental origin. If they don't like it here, then please leave. Zubaydah, you're not an Anjem Chowdhury fan, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't think the majority of Muslims are. They're not, right? So statistically you wouldn't be. What do you want to do about him if you don't like him? I think, first of all, um, it's not to give him the oxygen of publicity which he is currently enjoying, um, especially for someone who has probably around 100 followers. So there's a disproportionality in terms of the voice and the airspace that he's given. And more, uh, I would say, uh, uh, moderate voices, the majority of voices, need to be given some traction within the media but, to hear those voices. Right, but banning Anjim Chowdhury, when I'm, I'm just using him as an example, we, we could pick other names, but banning him, does it? help at, if you like, reducing his influence over however many followers he has? Well, the last time I checked, we lived in a democracy and we still live in a democracy. So banning people, banning ideas um, is not conducive as a way forward. It may appeal as a temporary measure, but it's certainly not a long term solution. This We've is, this got is not to what's listen to the narrative of what's actually being said what's in being... terms of ideas, both in terms of what grievances are and listening to ideas that we may not like. Sure, but, but within what's, the realm of what's being discussed as well. What's being pr proposed is to stop propaganda towards terrorism. And that's what Anjum Chowdhury and his ilk do. And that's what needs to be stopped. Free speech is fine. Disagree with foreign policy, disagree with domestic policy, stop on search, whatever else, fine. Have a civilised discussion. But what they do is actually promote and propagate on behalf of terrorists. And no, that should be on, robustly that's fought that's against. That's illegal already, isn't it? Yes, and they should right. be prosecuted so, that, for doing so. But that's already, that's already against the law. You don't need sure. another law to get sure. rid of that. You've just argued, for example, about deporting people. How do you deport people? If it's very if you're simple. Born if you're well? not happy in our country, then it's why are you still here? Now, if you, if you, if you, if you want to go and live in, 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 under well, the, the ISIL terrorists, that, that then go and do so. That reduces a, a discussion. So if you say ban them, send them home, that reduces discussion. I'm not saying send them home. Some of them are brought, sure. born here. What I'm saying is that if people are in this country advocating on behalf of ISIS and other terrorist groups, then they, they, should, be, they, they should be taken and they should be sent back to that, wherever their parents came from. And that way, they, 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 they're out of... Because what, what we can't that's have... Not, this is not, look, not, not what we're talking but, about, though, because this is actually a, a measure of, of uh, potentially banning the the individuals or the groups, terms, which is not sure, so we're not talking their, about yeah, sure, we're not not, talking about fine, but in countering terms, their propaganda is what sorry, this let, is about. Let me just ask, could you use this measure, the one proposed today that we played the clip of just now, could you use that against the English Defence League, for example? It depends on what they were advocating. If English Defence League advocating like Anjum Chowdhury advocates... who makes advocates, the decision in this particular case? It seems like it's a, a reasonable belief on the part of a minister. Well, that's why, as you said about democracy, we have a court of law. We, 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 we try it with a jury. We, we no, go no, and no, prosecute. We the the judge not? just has to decide whether it's a reasonable a reasonable view on the part and then of the if minister, that, If I the think, system yeah. that we set up is that there's going to be a judge or a number of judges that make that decision, then that's the, the, that's the system that we're going to use. I think we've got to step back and actually listen to what we need to talk about here, which is there's election time, um, and the rhetoric obviously steps up in terms of who's going to be tough on crime, on extremism, I'm so sorry, I must interrupt issue. you. A British citizen Please was just beheaded. <laughs> 
Yes. Two Americans were beheaded by a terrorist group whose sympathizers are operating in our societies. They must be stopped. What do you propose we do to stop them? In 2014, for example, around 20, 28,000 images were removed from the internet. So that's one example. But can we legally just Sorry. stop so, removing So, you haven't, you haven't used well. the one argument I thought you were going to use, which is that this actually might give these folks the oxygen of a sort of persecution complex that makes them more virulent in their beliefs. Right. Does that, in your experience, is that something that might happen? I think in terms of, first of all, not feeling that we can uh, ban things as, as a way out because we're not looking at what the underlying causes are, which is what I've mentioned. Right. And secondly, if you start to look at the internet and saying, we don't like these images or we want to ban non-violent extremists and their ideas, it's the dangerous aspects of what happens to ideas which you can't stop the flow of ideas. But we what do that already with so many word. other things. You know, Theresa May got rid of Abu Qatar and Abu Hamza. Those were great initiatives. And we need to see more of that happening where people who disagree with our society and promote terrorism must be stopped. I think I agree. Uh, Something needs to be done. But we do have the history of the IRA. We try to ban people and it doesn't work. Uh, we need to leave it there. Thank you both. That's our debate. Well, enough talk about policy. The burning question for Conservatives here is, can they win the election next year? You'll remember that Boris Johnson told us earlier that they could. Allegra's been looking more closely at the maths.